Hey, how's it going? Nat here. Let's check out what's been making news. Authorities are worried about a second wave of coronavirus. Victoria's had a big bump in cases over the weekend and the state's had to tighten some of its restrictions. Here's Leela. Here in Australia, we've done a pretty good job at stopping the spread of COVID-19. At least until now. Cases in Victoria are going up. 16 were recorded overnight, making it the sixth day in a row with double-digit increases. With these six areas having the most, People are being told not to go in or out of those areas if they don't have to. But they're also where nearly one in five Victorians live. We don't know how exactly the recent spread started, but many new COVID cases have come from within the same families. Extended family members across many households are visiting each other, uh, even when they have been exhibiting mild symptoms. Authorities are really worried about a second wave of the virus. So the Victorian government has decided to tighten restrictions. From today, people can't have more than five visitors in their home or outdoor gatherings of more than 10. It also hit another big part of Victorian life this weekend, the AFL. Sunday's game between the Bombers and the Demons had to be postponed after player Connor McKenna tested positive for the virus. So all eyes are on Victoria as we wait to see what happens next. Mount Merapi has erupted, sending up huge clouds of grey ash. The Indonesian volcano is one of the most active in the world, so it's not exactly unusual, but it is dangerous. Locals living on the mountain have been told to stay away. Some good news from South Australia. Adelaide Zoo has reopened today. It's been closed for months because of the pandemic, but now that some restrictions are starting to ease up, people have been welcomed back. Charlotte went to check it out. Hey guys, yep, I'm here at Adelaide Zoo and it's a very exciting day because this sign is about to come down. Well, it's a bit of a rainy, windy day here, but that has not kept these avid zoo goers away. Now, Jack, why are you looking forward to the zoo opening? Because it's been shut for three months and it's one of my favourite places in Adelaide. Me too. Now, Everly, what animal do you want to see today? Um, um, a tiger. <laughs> and how about you, Thomas? A giraffe. Oh, well, why don't we go check him out? Now, the zoo's been shut for the last few months because of COVID-19 restrictions, and it's been really tough on them. So everyone's really happy to be back in action, but there are some changes, like you have to book online now, there's lots of hand sanitizer everywhere, and there's a lot of signs like these reminding people to stay 1.5 metres apart. We want to be able to stay open and let everyone come and enjoy the animals, um, you know, and if we can't adhere to those restrictions and those guidelines, then it makes it really tough for us to stay open. If we all work together, the zoo can stay open and everyone can have a great time. We're very lucky because our dad let us take the day off and we came back specially because it was first opening today and we thought it would be really cool to come have a look at the zoo. How are you uh, happy visitors are back at the zoo? Good chat, good chat. Are you a little chilly today, dreading the winter still ahead of us? Well, not me, because I don't feel the cold. On World Yoga Day, June 21st, border police in India put on their protective goggles, got their mats out and hit the slopes. And they don't appear to be bothered. In fact, they seem to love it. People around Australia have been celebrating the shortest day of the year, winter solstice. It's tradition for people in Tassie to jump into the Derwent River for a naked swim. This year though, swimmers thankfully kept their gear on. When they said in big letters, not nude, I thought that's one less thing to worry about. In fact, there seem to be a lot of people swimming all over the state who all have a cavalier attitude towards the weather. That wasn't too bad. I'm not, I'm not chipping or anything. No, no, it's fine. No place does cold better than Antarctica. This time of year, it's around minus 20 degrees. But arguably, literally anywhere else does a better plunge pool. That hasn't stopped people taking an icy dip, of course. It is freezing cold and it takes your breath away. I can believe that. That's all we've got time for today. We'll be back again tomorrow. So, see you then. <laughs>